Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my playthrough of Saints Row 2. So we're going to continue from where we left off right here. We're going to visit Johnny in the hospital and see what's going on. So the bastard's dead? I cut him up myself. Ronan are coming in to try to finish the job. Hello, how can I help you? Excuse me, you can't go that way. Hello, security? How you doing? She's dead. You really gotta ask. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to ask you to return to the waiting room. Funeral? We're waiting for you. Cut it. How long till you're back? Doc said I should be up and murdering in a couple of days. Well, you know, he did say murdering, but you get the idea. Time to leave? Fuck yeah. So Sh Shogo sent a bunch of hitmen over to try to um kill Johnny. Gotta be and they cut the power, they here. murdered the security guard. Okay. Ready to die? Now you have to, um... In this mission, you actually have to move Now this with... is my idea of a good time. You really need to get out. This isn't going well, is it? The drip doesn't do a whole lot of bullets. So we basically gotta protect Johnny. We can shoot while uh, moving him this way. But we gotta get him out of the hospital. You know, you could have brought flowers instead of a gang of people trying to kill me. <laughs> I didn't realize you were so sensitive. Oh, what did I just shoot there? Okay. Okay, we gotta go around here. And you can just leave him uh, you know, if you I'd want. You know, I'd make it out of here a lot faster if I just left your ass here. That's not fun. With me and my saints. I'm gonna enjoy. Ah. Okay, get Johnny to the elevator here now. You gonna keep laying around, or are you gonna do something? Shut up. Found medicine for Johnny. So I noticed I always played his voice too in the Saints Row, um, in Saints Row Two, but this is the first time that I'm really doing a major playthrough as voice, um, voice three. And I noticed that voice three's um, like dialogue in the cutscenes is identical, but like some of the things that they say, like um. While, um, like, you know, just generally running around the mission is a bit different. Like, he actually says, like, uh, so while you've been, um, out, I put Pierce in charge, is what voice number two says, and, um, Johnny's like, that's not funny. Straight. I've seen you kill enough people to put it together. And in this one, he, um, he says, um, uh, wait, ah, uh, okay. That's not making things any easier. Yep, they put a bomb on the ambulance, we don't... On the roof. It's our best chance out of here. He says, I could just leave you here, and he's like, that's not funny. Um, so... Dialogue is a little different. Um, Okay, so here's the final part now. We should be able to take the helicopter and just get out of here. Oh, great. More. Okay. So now, this was the first time that I flew a helicopter in a Saints Row game when I, um, uh, when I, uh, when I did this mission. But generally, the helicopter controls are very similar to GTA controls, so if you know, 
Oh, great. The Ronin have an attack helicopter. Oh, great. We just have to watch out because this helicopter can be really hard to stop. So it's not like super um, agile. Ronin's in Ronin. Wow, they, yeah, they got an attack helicopter, okay. We could just land on the roof, there's an entrance there, but um, I guess it wants us to land in the alley here. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Rikuji. Shall we get down to business? You should care because I represent a multi-billion dollar corporation that employs your son. Now can we sit down? With the recent change in management, I figured it would be a good idea to touch base. We at Ultor understand that when working with the Ronin, there's bound to be some collateral damage. However, turning a hospital into a charnel house is something that even I can't spend. You need to keep your men under control. My English must not be as good as I thought it was. It sounded like you were giving me an order. You're quite astute, Mr. Akuji. I'm not a twenty-something who is impressed by a power tie, Mr. Vogel. I suggest you stop trying to bully me. Mr. Akuji, your son and I negotiated a very reasonable contract. My son's an idiot, Ooh. Mr. Vogel. If you wish for the Ronin's protection, you had best be prepared to offer us something much more substantial. That's not going to happen. Then our business is concluded. Mr. Okuji, I can't possibly stress how unwise this could- Be silent. You can show yourself out now. Well, I guess that's that. Best of luck, gentlemen. So basically what's been going on here is that Ultor has been paying the Ronin protection. They, they, Ultor has not been getting extorted by the Ronin, but they've been actually paying them for protection, ironically, because ironically it's usually a gang that will be extorting the business. But in this case, Ultor is actually paying them for an, a service to actually protect their casino and other interests, and the Ronin have been doing so. And, um, and so basically, um, uh, uh, Kazuo Okuji said that what you have had with my son, um, that was, that was, that was void. My son's an idiot. You're gonna give us much more. And he basic Vogel basically said no. And if you watch that cutscene carefully, Vogel also, um, uh, in that cutscene, he will actually, um, uh, uh, Kazuo will actually say in Japanese, I don't know what he said exactly in Japanese. If somebody could translate it, let me know. But I'm assuming he said that I, why should I care? Because Vogel just repeated that. But, um, uh, basically when Kazuo was saying in Japanese, you know, why should I care, he was basically saying that hoping that Vogel wouldn't understand him, but Vogel does understand him. So he wasn't showing Vogel any kind of respect like that. But, um, let me show you guys something really cool in the gang hideout here. So you guys notice something? The gang hideout has changed. It's no longer really dirty. It's being renovated. So as you progress through the story, the gang hideout actually changes on its own. And right here, this is, you know, the boss's room. $4,000 in cash we got right here. But now down here, there is one room, yeah, this, this one place. Where we can actually choose our gang style. So we have gangster. Bodyguards, bodyguards, this is the most popular style. People choose bodyguards a lot. Um, 80s. Pimps. Pre-hop. Or sporty. Uh, we'll take sporty for now. Tag, we can choose our tag also. Um. Take this one. And we can choose our gangs, like, you know, style. Um, which one do I like? Uh... 
this one, yeah. Hey. And now vehicles, we can choose our gang's vehicles, and we've unlocked a lot of vehicles already so far. Nelson, yeah, I like that one. Um Magma. And we'll take, uh, yeah, this one, the bootlegger. Now you can do a little bit of graffiti here, um, tagging, um, okay. And we got tag in the area right here. There we go. That's um one tag that we had completed. Um is there any other tags down here? Um another one right here. And there's I know there's two more outside also. But I always found I always found the tagging fun to do. I did enjoy it. There we go. We got another one. Now, I believe that one of these buildings here, um, uh, I believe that one of these hotels you can actually go into. And, um, if you know, okay, it's that building right there. If you know which building you can go into, um, because certain buildings will have, like, a lot of tiny items that you can blow up in, like, chain succession. So let's start doing this then. Okay, we already look at look at how quickly we did that. See that? So he got basically half of it already done. Okay. Now let's go for the hotel here. Wanna get away from the helicopters because those helicopters can be really nasty. Yeah, see, so that's what they do. Okay. And once you're in the hotel, you can start blowing up all the small items in here too. And you can really build a big combo in here too. And you can go up on the second floor here. Yeah, there's a room in here you can go into. This is actually for a Hitman target, which I'll, um, I'll talk about that when I do Hitman. Okay, now we're here, um... We can go into Poseidon's palace. The reason you don't want to stay outside too long on, like, Mayhem level 6 is because the police will, like, spawn those... Ah, great. Watch out and they ram you. The police will spawn those helicopters and they will fire missiles at you. Okay. I'm gonna crash the casino a second time, I guess, then. Ha! <laughs> There we go, we got it. See? Complete level 6 like that. So that's a little tip. If you know certain, like, big buildings you can go into, just fire the RPG. That's, like, your best weapon during that. Satchel charges are good, but I like RPG personally. And just keep spamming it, all, uh, and you keep blowing up all these small targets in quick succession, and you can make, um, do a lot of damage pretty quickly. 15% permanent crib customization. And, um, that... Rampage is now gonna be yeah, so it's like grayed out. It's been completed We got a Ronin stronghold here Looks like the Ronin are setting up shop for some deal I don't know who or what they moving yet, but judging by the amount of security they set up something big is definitely going down You're gonna have to take out two sets of guards before you can get a visual on the pier if I were you 
I'd use a sniper rifle to drop those bitches from as far away as possible. So the Ronin are doing some kind of deal here. Um, it's unknown what this deal is. Let them know the Saints have this turf now. Okay. Man, I just love the AR-50 so much. The Ronin don't give any second chances. Grenade launcher in it too. Yeah, I just love this thing. Definitely my favorite assault rifle. Got a sniper rifle. Close. Oh. Gotta reload. Ah. See if you guys can keep up. Ah. Next group we're gonna take out right here. Okay, we gotta go up there. Oh, this is like the Roman place, right? Um. Uh, oh yeah, I hear an RPG. That's not good. Oh, oh god! Okay, Let use this guy as a shield. Uh, give you my autograph. If you want eternal rest, I've got it right here. Steps, they can expect the same thing. This final guy, right here. There you go. Destroy the boats. Okay, boats are going to be coming in. Whoa, what the? What was that? What the what? Well okay, what the hell was that last time? I don't know. Oh God. Okay. That's what that was. Oh no. They're firing another one. Okay. Where's the guy with the RPG? I heard oh, another one. Oh, right there. Yep. I got two bullets left. I might as well make these count. Okay, let's get on down there now. I wonder what they could be moving. I don't think it's drugs because the Ronin don't don't um uh the Ronin haven't been known to be involved in drugs. Could be guns or something else. There we just owned them. Good thing I kept some of these frags. There we go, boom.
You don't even got that much pistol ammo left. I gotta be careful. Is there a guy in the middle of these crates? Okay, whatever. Um, that's weird, but... We're supposed to be winning! Don't push the luck. I can still kill you from here. No one kills a Ronin and lives to tell about it. Well, a little bit of lag right now. I think it might be because of the water again. Because sometimes when you do missions that are near the water, for some reason in the Saints Row games, it lags. I don't know why. Man, I have no ammo and nothing right now. Guess I was getting soft. I hate the damn weather in this Here we go, now it's time to trash this boat. Whoa, okay. There we go, the neighborhood is ours now. Yeah, the Ronin have been losing a lot of territory right now. This is a hell of a place you got here. I mean, it's a good thing I had my tetanus shot, but beyond that, it's, uh, cozy. Do I know you? Name's Dane Vogel, who works for Altor. I remember he swung by the church and offered Dex a job a while back. You're shitting me. Who's Dex? Dex was a man who had higher aspirations than being a thug. Can't blame him for moving on up. He was a fucking sellout. You call him a sellout, I call him a millionaire. What do you want? I want to help you. If I need any Ultor Unlimited sunglasses, I'll steal them. So you're familiar with our products? Fuck off, Vogel. Do you want our help or not? Maybe. Yes. No. Well, this is a well-oiled machine. What do you got? We've recently severed our ties with the Ronin. Oh, you're breaking my heart. I know where the Akujis lay their heads. I doubt any of your lieutenants have that information. I don't know. Sean just fucked a lot of guys. Gat's talking sense. How do we know it's not a trap? That part's easy. I'll wait for you here. If you don't make it back, one of your boys can take me out. Yo, why don't we just cut the waiting <laughs> part? I think the waiting part is very important. Gat, you're with me. Pierce, you're babysitting Vogel. You sure you don't want me to take out this asshole now? Save the bullet for Akuji. So you see, Dex was mentioned the first time now. Now, Dex is, um... Uh, Dex was a lieutenant in the Third Street Saints in Saints Row 1. He's working for Ultor now. He's a multi-millionaire in the Ultor ah, Corporation. Ah, takes me back. God, I'm looking forward to taking those assholes apart. Don't worry, man. We're taking their whole fucking hotel down. Good. So Vogel just basically, um, uh, sold them out. So they're no longer doing business with the Ronin. And the, um... Altor was basically, their attitude was, we're no longer doing business with them, we don't need them anymore. Just keep an eye, remember that on Altor. Altor is a very ruthless corporation, they're not necessarily your friends. And now, I think that was a really stupid move for Akuji to invite, um, a Vogel right at their, um, uh, their hotel or, um, penthouse. So this is the Ronin, um, uh, hotel here. Get to the elevator. Okay, let's do it. Oh. 
bombs planted, so we're gonna blow up their whole hotel. Let's get it. First bomb up planted. Ah, oh, better than that. There we go. Oops. How did they find us? They found you because you were stupid to invite Vogel to your headquarters. Better start running. It's just too easy. Kill them all. Two more bombs. <sighs> now this is gonna be the top floor, I believe. Oh, they got RPG. Remember, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty too, so I guess that's why certain enemies have RPGs or missions. Head to the suite and kill the Ronin lieutenants, okay. Let's clear out here before we go in there. Reload. So this is a Kuji suite right here. This is the same place that they were actually, they sat down to have coffee in right here. Climb the rail and, um, jump into the atrium. Okay. Here we go. Oh, bombs are going off. Boom. Ha. Whole hotel just went up. Yo, it been gone a long time. Maybe I should... You really shouldn't. It's all right, Pierce. He led us right to him. Get out of here, Vogel. You've been a gracious host. How come you went to the Ronin and not us? You were in a coma and we couldn't find Julius. Timing is everything. Now look at the penthouse. I had no idea how far my shame could extend. Don't worry, Father. I'll fix this. No, you won't, Shogo. You'll continue to disappoint me. So he just keeps being shamed in front of his father. So right here, this mission is the most darkest mission in all of Saints Row, this mission right here. And this shows you how brutal Saints Row used to be. This is Aisha's funeral. The souls of all the faithful departed rest in peace. You two have humiliated my family for the last time! 
leave, little boy. Look at me when I'm talking to you! <sighs> Fuck off, Akuji. I'm not killing anyone at Isha's funeral. Tonight? Tomorrow? You name a time and I will gladly fuck you up. But not now. How noble. Nobility is sorely overrated. This is one of the this is one of the worst things that Shogo could have done. Is attacking Aisha's funeral. Whoa! So when you damage him enough, he starts to run away um, towards the house. There's 17 lieutenants that we have to kill. A lot of them. Okay, we took out almost half of their lieutenants. Fire and burst when you're firing at longer ranges. Damn, that feels good. Now we go and check the house for him. Kill Shogo. This final part of the mission isn't that bad. Just be careful not to crash the bike. There we go, we got him. Now this cutscene, guys, watch this cutscene, because you aren't going to believe this is from Saints Row right now. This scene. so fun when you're fighting someone who isn't tied to a chair, is it? I didn't kill her! You ordered it. I'm sorry. Well, that brings her back, doesn't it? You couldn't even let her have a burial, you fucking piece of shit. This right now, look at this, guys. I haven't even seen GTA 4 go this dark. No, please. And you're you're what watching this they just bury him alive? Yes they did. And if you're wondering, is he dead? Yes, he's dead. That's how Shogo dies. They buried him alive. That was the worst possible thing that he could have done, is to attack Aisha's funeral. He should have just left like Gat told him to, 
He, he would have fought him another day, but ambushing Aisha's funeral, that was the worst possible thing that he could have done, so he kind of brought it on himself at the end there. Um, but yeah, that's like one of the worst ways to die, where you're just basically, you're, 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 you're panicking, you're stressing out, your anxiety levels are absolutely through the roof. It's just absolutely crazy, and you're slowly, slowly losing oxygen, you're slowly dying, you're slowly suffocating. One of the worst ways to die, and the fact that he's saying, kill me now... Like, just kill me, don't do this. Like, the fact that he prefers to die just right away from a bullet instead of dying that way, you know, that shows you, you know, he pissed off Johnny. And the fact that he was also begging, I think he pissed off Johnny even more. Um... Two followers. We can have two saint followers now. So, yep, he was buried alive. There are some people that said that you can actually hear him still screaming if you actually return to the, to the, to the, um, uh, to the burial site, but I never heard it. Um, somebody confirm with me if that's real or if it's just, if it's just a lie. Um, but, um, yeah, he's, he's pretty much done. He's not, um, uh, he's not coming back. That's it for Shogo. He's dead. Um, so 100% he's dead, uh, for people that are wondering. Um, so thank you guys, um, uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it, that shows you how dark Saints Row used to be, Saints Row used to be dark like this, like, it used, it used to be a very violent and gruesome game, it was a gangster game, it was very serious, and that is the worst, it, out of, out of all of the gangster games that I have played, Scarface, The Godfather, GTA, Saints Row, um, Sleeping Dogs, like, this, by far, is the worst death that I've ever seen in a gangster game. Uh, just to, just how the death happens, being buried alive. I think that's the worst death that I've seen in a gangster game. I know San Andreas had a scene where you buried a guy in concrete, but that was, you know, you just pushed the porty potty over. But this, um, uh, you actually saw, you actually threw the guy in the casket um, while he was screaming. Um, so I, yeah, definitely the most brutal death in Saints Row and the darkest moment in Saints Row. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, join con subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. My main focus is I know a lie. She better not follow me. This is optometry. The MP11s is the only way it's gotta be.